Welcome to our courtroom. Today we are here to hear the case of Goldilocks versus the three bears. So Goldilocks is in the dock. She is accused of many different crimes. There is a long list. Goldilocks, please stand. You are accused of breaking and entering. You broke into the three bears house. Stealing. You took porridge that did not belong to you. Criminal damage. You broke little bear's chair. And finally, the worst of them all, you are accused of going to bed with your shoes on. How do you plead? Guilty? You did it. Or not guilty? You did not do it. Not guilty. Okay, thank you Goldilocks, you may sit down. So now we will talk to everyone that was involved that day to see if we can uncover what happened. Call Daddy Bear to the stand. Before Daddy Bear can tell everyone what happened the day Goldilocks was found in his house, he has to make an important promise to tell the truth. Daddy Bear, do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Now Daddy Bear can answer the questions. Daddy Bear, tell us about that morning. Well, you see, Mummy Bear had spent a long time making porridge, but it was just too hot to eat. If I had eaten it like that, I would have burnt my tongue. So, instead, I came up with the brilliant suggestion. I suggested that we went for a nice walk through the woods, as a nice morning stroll is good for people, on the whole, and it gave our porridge time to cool down. So off we set, and when we got back, nice and refreshed, that is when we discovered the pest. So, Daddy Bear, when you got back, you discovered what? The front door that I closed wide open. When we got inside, I discovered not only had someone eaten some of my porridge, but there had been someone sitting in my chair. Please continue and tell everyone what else you discovered. I looked round and discovered that Baby Bear's chair was all broken and cracked. I was very upset as it was a very special chair that I'd spent a long time working very hard for. What happened next? Well, I heard a strange noise coming from upstairs. So I went to investigate and discovered Goldilocks asleep in her bed. Thank you, Daddy Bear. You may sit down. Mummy Bear, please come up. Again, you must promise to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you, Mummy Bear. Now please tell this court what happened the day you found Goldilocks in your house. Well, you see, I spent the morning making my famous secret recipe porridge. When along came Daddy Bear and complained that the porridge was just too hot. He then made the suggestion of a morning stroll. In the woods he wanted to go. And you see, as I'm sure you would agree, that no one would question such a suggestion. Not in the morning time, when everyone is ready to whine. So off we went, Baby Bear complaining, Daddy Bear off out in front. But we got back eventually, and that's when we made the discovery. The front door that 
but Daddy Bear said he shut was wide open and inside worse was to come, for the porridge had been eaten, my favourite chair broken. That's when Daddy Bear said he could hear something coming from upstairs and we discovered Miss Goldilocks in the bed. My nightmare was complete when I noticed she was fully clothed so there was mud and grime everywhere. Were they white sheets too? Yes. Thank you, Mummy Bear. You may sit down. Baby Bear, it's your turn. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Can you tell us all about that day? Daddy Bear wouldn't eat his porridge, so we had to go out for a walk, which I thought was not fair, as I was hungry, and what monster goes for a walk before breakfast? But I had no choice, so off we went. We finally got back, and the front door was wide open. I ran inside to eat my porridge anyway, and... I got to my bowl, and it was empty! Everyone else had some left, but not me. So I went for a sit down, but when I got to my chair, it was all broken. Again, it was only mine that was like that. Everyone had gone upstairs, so I followed them. There was a very loud noise coming from there. And you will never guess what, there was a girl asleep in my bed, still fully dressed, so my bed was all dirty too. Thank you baby bear, you may sit down. Now it is only fair to let everyone there that day have their say. So Goldilocks, it is your turn. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I do. Goldilocks, please tell us what happened that day. Well, I went for a walk in the woods but got lost. I was very worried as my mum said this would happen if I was not careful. I was beginning to get scared and confused. One tree looks much like the next. But I carried on walking until... I found a house. I was so happy and this house had the same door as mine and was the same colour. I thought I had found my way back home. I went to the door and opened it and went in. I can't remember if I closed it again. When I got inside I was ready for my breakfast. My mum always leaves it on the table for me. So when I found the porridge, it was nothing unusual. I picked my favourite and ate it all. At that point, I was feeling full and tired, so I went to sit down. The chair broke, which was a bit upsetting, but I thought I must have eaten too much porridge. But Goldilocks was the wallpaper inside the house not different to yours? I am sorry, I didn't notice. So what happened next? I was still tired and thought the bed might be a safer option than the chair, so I went upstairs to bed. The next thing I can remember is three very big scary bears. So I ran away. Thank you Goldilocks, you may sit back in the dock. So now you have heard from everyone, it is up to you. If you think that Goldilocks did do it all on purpose and knew that it was the three bears house, then you must find her guilty. 
But if you think it is possible that she just got lost, confused and scared, then you must find her not guilty, as she wouldn't have done anything wrong. So over to you.